So it seems that we were right. Concord was going to fail. So he talked about Concord several times. And when we first saw the game, we were like, yeah, this game's going to fail. No one's going to play it. No one's going to buy it. You know. But this is basically, you know, Sony's ripoff of Overwatch that no one asked for. You know. Rebu indicated how that's created for financial misfire that vaguely largely the game was turning out to be. Concord is here and nobody is playing it. So this game has been basically hated. You know, everybody said that straight would have been hyperbolic or clickbait. But the first so did everything, but after eight years of development, no one likes this game. So they spent eight years on this game. Eight years on this game and still no one is playing this game. Yeah. That only 700 people at the peak. You know, player gauge fans at 579. For example, Overwatch has over had last time I see. Last time I see had 40,000 players. That means Concord failed to beat Overwatch by a huge margin. As well. And the open beta had a max count of 2,438 people. Well, was up to this point, he held the right but this situation in Concord is far from unsurprising. Previous guys of the Galaxy Home character right extremely passive, being heroes sold at backs for eight hours to USD play. When there were better produced titles that were all free to play, it's certainly no wonder that people started to pass on this game as well. And yeah, Concord seems to be one of the biggest failures of the year. And there's been a lot of failures this year. That other game we talked about yesterday, uh, Suicide Squad. You know, it seems that all these games that try to pander towards this so-called audience they keep trying to find, they're going to run the same version that Hollywood run, run, is starting to run. That these, this audience doesn't exist. That there is no audience for woke movies and woke games. There is no amount of people who care about the woke movies, games, and TV shows. Okay, that these... That sometimes, yes, sometimes they do make money. But it's more than likely movies that don't offend anybody or games that don't offend anybody, they usually do well. You know, wokeness, a lot of people get upset over it. People don't like it. People don't like when wokeness is forced upon anything, any storm or medium whatsoever. Okay? It seems that the wards backlash towards wokeness. But today, what's the funny thing is, wokeness is designed not to offend people. Okay, but people don't like people don't like woke products. People don't like it. Okay, people don't like when movies preach in a message. People don't like when games preach a message. Okay, people don't like it. Okay, people don't like it when games storyline and storytelling are sabotaged by companies like Street Baby Inc. You know, and people don't like the character designs of this game either. The characters look pretty, eh. Like, they look pretty basic. If we made a whole video about the character designs of this game, they're pretty bad. Okay. In this game, including my favorite, Tracer Knockoff. As well. So, yeah. So this game is 100% a massive, massive failure. Okay. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.